Hi, it's Megan. So this is a video, and I say a video for, I'll tell you in a minute, for the Tarte Tardiest Contour Palette. And so this is a video not just reviewing the palette, but also showing you how I use it. And I'm doing that just because I know a lot of times some people see these products, um, they're not quite sure how to use them. And so I figured we would just mix it all together. This is supposedly a limited edition palette, and this is what you have here. And you get a little card, which you probably can't see very well, um, which tells you highlight, correct, uh, soft deep contour, accentuate, and glow. So it is highlight, correct, soft and deep contour, the accentuate is the blush, and then this is the glow. And it is a very soft glow. This is not one of these highlighter kind of glows in the scheme of the highlighters we've seen a lot of this year, where you get all this glisten and, gl glisten and glimmer and sparkle. This is a very soft highlight. So this is $45, and I'm actually gonna do a review, like video, a review how to, on the color correcting palette too, but I decided to do this one first. So right now my face has no color, it's got foundation. Um, and I have just a little mascara, a little lipstick, um, so we can play around with it in a second. And uh, I always say this is the stage where you've taken all the color out of your face, so my face should have like no color. $45, a universal face slenderizing palette, so anyone can master the Tarte, they really do say Tarte, of contouring. It says, sculpt your complexion using this palette's paint by numbers technique. This is an all-in-one face slenderizing palette, six numbered contouring shades, step-by-step -step visual guide, so you can seamlessly highlight, correct, contour, and accentuate your best features like a pro. With ultra soft satin powders, these shades blend easily to create a rich, gradual dimension while softening any harsh lines. And you're supposed to use it with the Tardis Slim and Sculpt contour brush. And I have the slenderizer. I'm not sure if that's the same brush. Um, and then I also have the Pat, the Kat Von D brush. And so it's a matte highlighter, yellow correcting powder, soft contour for light to medium skin tones, deep for medium to dark skin tones, rosy blush, and glow a shimmer highlighter. No parabens. No, whatever. And the Slenderizer Bamboo Contour Brush, which I have, is $34. And uh, I'm not going to read you the description of that. So this is the brush. And I'm going to use this, and I'm also going to use the Kat Von D brush. So this brush, a lot of people say, only works with cream contours. I don't agree. This br brush is quite firm. I like firm brushes with powders, so it's more a personal preference. And then I also have the Kat Von D just because uh, it's a softer brush, so if you like the soft brushes, it's a good one. And then I have this brush right here, which is a Sephora Pro brush. So what do I think? First of all, if you're gonna compare this with a lot of the other contours that are out there, um, they range from like bronzers to something like the Kat Von D, which I think is a little bit cooler toned in shade than this one. This one to me has more of that bronzer feel to it, which works with my skin tone because my skin tone veers a little warm. But if you, uh, my cats are fighting, if you have really cool skin tones, this might be too warm for you. And then, you know, as is always the case um, with any of these types of products, this is not going to be, if you look at the shades, this is not going to be the correct palette for everyone's skin tone. It's gonna go more to the medium to light, medium to dark, and then if you've got a warm light skin tone, which doesn't seem to happen that often, the super light skin tone, then I guess it can. Um, that's wrong. The powders are super easy to blend. They are super finely milled. They last a good eight plus hours on me. I really do like this palette a lot, and it smells like, I don't know, they say it's chocolate, and it kind of does, chocolate vanilla, I'm not really sure, but it does have a really like, sweet, but not in an icky sort of a way, in my opinion, smell to it. So, overall, I really do like this product a lot. Um, if you want it, you have to be the type who can use bronzers as contour as opposed to the type that needs to use kind of the more grayish, cooler tones. So there's the little chart, 
And so we're going to go step by step. Hmm, they highlight first. Okay, well we're going to highlight first, if that's what they do. But I'm going to use, well actually I'll use this end of their brush to do the highlight. So we're going to take the highlight shade. I usually highlight last, but that's okay, whatever. And we're supposed to do like a triangle thing here. Like that. And then we're going to come down the nose, do a little dot here. Ooh, my foundation's a little icky. And then do a little dot here. Okay, contour, right? No, correct. Okay, I'm going to take this brush, although you could take the other one. And now we're going to take the yellow. And this is one I've heard a lot of people really like. And you're going to correct, I get the dark circles kind of right in here. The yellow is going to deal with some of the dark circles. And it's supposed to even them out. Now these are subtle. It is Tarte, right? So Tarte tends to have more subtle looks with their products. And I think this is a more subtle, meaning not... You can build it up, but it's semi-sheer. So highlight it says illuminate the center of face and diffuse the appearance of lines using the matte highlighter shade. Then the correct add dimension and neutralize redness or discoloration with the yellow correcting powder. So, oh, yellow too. That's right. Yellow, I mean yellow. Redness around the nose, which they don't have on their little chart. But, and they have you go not in the inner corner where I did it because that's where I tend to get the dark circles. They have you mimic the dark circles and then I'm going to put a little bit around my nose because I can get a little redness there. Okay, soft and deep contour. Okay, so here, this is kind of my thing. I really like kind of fine, chiseled, defined, like I don't like softer brushes for contour. And when I've gone into a lot of different like classes like Urban Decay or Tom Ford, in both cases in Urban Decay they actually used a crease brush for the eye to do the contour and then Tom Ford they used a really fine brush. I've not replaced my bronzer brush for a long time which I use for contour because it has a flat edge like this one. So I actually really like this brush. If you like softer, broader strokes, the Kat Von D is not too thick and works really well. And then this right here, the other side for the highlight, is really soft and it's easy to just dot on highlighters without putting them putting on too much of them. But we're going to use the Tarte brush. So I'm going to take this side and you're going right under the cheekbone. This is, I'm not perfect on camera. I'm going to put it on a little darker than I would if I wasn't on camera. I seem to have a blob there. And then it goes around the cheekbone up here. And then I'm going to take the flat side to blend it in a little bit more. So take the side, blend like that. So taking the side to apply of the lighter contour right under the cheekbone. And you can do that, but a better way to do it is to feel with your finger. And then you're trying to hit that side. You know, this is not the best mirror because it's too far away. It's on the mirror, it's the camera thing. It's better actually use my mirror because then I can see what I'm doing. You live and learn. So I put on, and everyone does it differently. I just prefer, as if you've seen a lot of my videos, I prefer putting it precisely where I want it, want it to be and then blending it as opposed to putting too much and having to blend it all away in areas where I don't want it. Now this is where I was really playing around. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I have to even out my neck. Now I'm using the bottom, the broad, and I'm using the darker. And I'm able to apply really lightly. The reason I have to even out my neck is I live in a warm climate and no matter how much sunscreen I use, my neck still ends up being lighter than my face. And then a lot of people like to contour the jaw so again, I'm using the broader brush because we're looking at a bigger skin area on the cheeks. You're being very precise here. It doesn't matter if you apply it a little bit lower. It just makes it look more natural. So you apply and then I am applying and then blending out. And you can also chisel right 
to where it's coming down to that angle and around the jaw here now I like soft contour so this is going to be soft contour I will actually take this off later because it's going to be too much for me every day but this way you can see it okay next we have accentuate with the blush and so we're going to use I did not bring a blush brush. So I like to put the blush right on my cheekbone. I'm one of those apple of the cheek and kind of brush it like this. And you can see it's a nice, and we'll do swatches at the end. But I don't want to make the video too long. And then glow. So we accentuate, use the blush show shade to merge your cheekbones and contour by fanning over the apples of the cheeks. The contour, it says choose the contouring shade that works best for your skin tone, three and four, apply to the hollow areas below cheekbones, buffing up towards the ears, then apply along the top of forehead above your highlight, blending back into the hairline. With the smaller brush, blend along the side of the nose, just above nostril. Oops, we forgot that. All right, so we can take the smaller brush, apply. And you can see, I'm not blending it as much as I would since it's on camera, but you can, so I want you to see it better. But you can see the shades, the shades are pretty subtle and I'm like a medium to light skin tone. And I'm using the stiffer side of the brush here just so we can more precisely define it. I actually never do this. I don't know. Right, but the hairline, personally. I don't know, did it make a huge difference? I don't And then I like to just blend it out with the side of the brush here so that it doesn't look too like globbed on. That's the nice thing about this brush is that you can apply it very precisely and then you can just blend, blend, blend so that it looks more natural. And then our last one, our glow. So it says, finish your look by brightening and illuminating the angles of the face. Apply the shimmer highlighter under the brow bones, to the inner corners of the eye, and on the cupid's bow. Hmm. I don't think that they actually did that on the chart. So we're going to have to do it ourselves. And I'm going to use this brush. And by the way, I pulled this brush because this is a very good one for contour as well. This kind of a brush. And so I'm going to take this and apply it on the top of the cheekbone. So it's kind of where our yellow powder went. And right here. Where our highlight went. Not the yellow powder, the highlight, the first one. Now this, I'm going to start showing you the powders. This is got a little, it's not even showing on my wrist. It's got a little shimmer sheen to it. I put a lot of blush on but it's really, uh, it's not gonna show. It's a barely there highlighter. And it's not that it's just not showing on my skin. It's very uh, subtle. The yellow, I'm not gonna swatch these on my wrist because they're just too light. This is the highlight, the first highlight, not the glow. So let's put more of the highlight on this side and more of the glow on this side. So you can see kind of, it does shine a little bit more but the effect on both of these isn't that different from one another. This is the darker of, they're really creamy. The, I mean the lighter of the, I'm on a roll today, of the contours and this is the darker. So you can see they've got a real brown undertone to them as opposed to that more gray kind of. And then the blush, which really is a rosy, slight brown undertone to it as well. It's a warmer pink, rosy pink. But again, it's super creamy. And so they blend, let's blend a little bit. They blend really beautifully on your skin. So that's kind of just a quick, 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 quick tutorial. Um, I do really like this product. I like the directions. It's not quite idiot proof, but it's almost idiot proof. And I actually like the Tarte brush that I have, which is the Slenderizer. 
Um, but if you like the softer brush, I do like the Kat Von D highlight brush. And um, I think that's it. I would love to get feedback on this video because like I said, I'm going to do a couple more videos like this one. And I'm trying to keep them not too long, giving a review and also a quick tutorial. So I would love feedback as to go more into the review, go more into the tutorial, skip the review, just do the tutorial, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, or anything else. Uh, that's it.